Hello everyone, this is Hunter. Today I'm going to talk about the backstage interface. So uh, this interface is used for change sound settings like the you know, com communication parameters, IP setting, not through download project to, to change that. And uh, the download project will also can through this screen to to operate. So uh, no. So firstly, how can we assess this back stage? So the default method is to use this upright corner, and I long pass this corner for four to five seconds. Yeah, we can see he jumped to this screen now, and uh, we, as we can see, this mode is the IG mode um, because the I and IE series all will will all change into this kind of background screen in the near future. So uh, we did that directly to introduce this IG IG's background screen so here we can see there are four five tab we can click the first area is about the HMI info the HMI model name is the PI3102 IG and the, the serial number and here is the the machine code. We we can also scan this QR code to to scan in this machine code. And here here is the HMI system info system version. And the, the next part is about the network. So as we can see, there are three methods to assess the network. The first one is the Ethernet cable and the second one is the Wi-Fi and the, fourth, the third one is for the 4G. And because I don't have the VLAN model and the 4G model in this, this HMI, so I just able to assess the network through this Ethernet cable. So we can change the DHCP mode or, or static IP. So this is the second area. And then the third, third part is about the USB update. So we can, we can use this tab, tab to, to change to update the HMI program. So if I plug into the USB devices and if there is some project file exists in this device USB and then it will be detected by this screen. So then I can select this item then download in, into the project, turn download to the HMI. This firmware is same to this project. And uh, the third third one is for the PLC program. If if our HMI is connect communication with the PLC, then we can use this tab to, to download the PLC program you through, through the serial port and uh, the fourth tab is about the system setting so there, there is the communication comport for communication parameter setting for the comport so we can change here here uh, we we can select 
third option, three option. Mm, because the IG mode has two eyes for a five and in in count one. So here we can up to three three option. And uh, here is for the data time, like the system setting, like the brightness, and uh, here here is for the beeper setting for the beeper. And the last button is to to restart the HMR. So uh, we, as we can see, there are there are four, five lamp to indicate the HMI statue. So the first one is the USB. If I insert the USB device, and this this indi indicator will be line on this one is for the 4g model so if i my 4g model is available and connect to the network successfully through this 4g then this line will be turned on the third one and the fourth one is similar with the, this 4g 4g light so this one is for indicate the Ethernet cable and this one is for indicate the Wi-Fi signal. So um, the last one is for the uh, significant one. So if I if this line is turned on it means the this device is 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 available to to connect to the Wayne platform. If if this line is is turned off, then it mean, means this HMI not able to bind bind to the Wnet access. So uh, this is our uh, only content I present today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.